Uh, all right, it's Marty from Marty's Crew, and I'm with my son James, and we are going to log a couple miles for the uh, Hike 365 Challenge here at uh, South Park. It's one of our local city parks. It's a paved path, and it's only about a mile long, so we figure we'll do about two laps, get two miles in today. Also, we're going to be filming our entry for Desmond Donder's Scottish Pronunciation words challenge because James is of Irish and Scottish heritage he's going to be the participant yeah. you sound enthused <laughs> I saw the words you saw the words yeah. yeah this should be fun well James before we get started you want to try the first one on the list You want me to hold on to that? Yeah. Okay. A walk or a walk, a watch or something like that. What, is that your final guess? Think about Loch Ness. I thought that was in Europe. I mean, so well. Scotland's in Europe, dude. I know that, but I didn't know it was like in Scotland. <laughs> this is one of our favorite walking paths. I think we actually, we were out here just about a year ago uh, when we first started talking about getting the kids out hiking and stuff. There wasn't any snow on the ground though. I say Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Yeah. That's your guess? Edinburgh. Pick one. Okay. I'm from a Puerto Rican and Mexican background. So our last name is Martinez. Uh, but James has his biological last name, Ricardo. It's a cool last name, I think. So he is the only one of us with that Scottish and Irish background. Which I think is cool. Cool to be the unique. That's why uh, we thought he'd be the perfect one for this challenge. Is it Garoich? Garoich? You tell me, you're the one guessing. Yeah, you say it's Garoich. Garoich? Garoich. Okay. Alright. Garoich. <laughs> I don't know, they're pretty thick on this side. It's the other side that gets thinned out a little bit. Typically we come on this walk in the spring or the summer. And it's pretty thin. I think I've been out here a few times in the winter, but not too often. Yeah. Well, last time we were out here was last March. Actually, it was, I think it was like, I don't remember. You know what? You might be right. You're right. You're right. We have a little tradition. We go to, on any one of the kids' birthday, we go to a place of their choice to eat. And, uh, Last year, there's a little uh, wing place in Junction City called Wing It. And uh, oh, if you're ever in Junction City, stop by. It's really good. Hold on. That's where James chose to eat. We brought it up to South Park to, to eat at the picnic area. And then we went for a walk. Did we do two laps that day or one? We just did one because... We went off trail a little bit though. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of uh, the kid's introduction to hiking. Lee 
least or less mach gal. Pick one. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's least magal. Least magal? Yeah, least magal. Okay. So James, have you ever thought about looking into your Scottish heritage? Um, I don't know. Really, really, the only time I really talk about this is when I'm at Granny's house. Yeah. Yeah. Because she said I'm gonna, she wants to go to Scotland one day. Yeah. And like rent a hotel or something. Yeah. I could see that. I know your mom wants to go to Scotland someday too. And then we're we're listening on the radio, like because she listens to classical music. She doesn't listen to new music. Yeah. And like like this Celtic song came on, and it was like in Celtic. It wasn't like that. It was Celtic or Gaelic. I gotta be honest, I don't know which one's Irish and I don't know which one's Scottish. <laughs> yeah, I, think this I think Gaelic is Irish. <laughs> so that's pretty much the only thing we've ever talked about. Mm. I think it's Kim. Kim? Okay. I guess I should apologize for all the wind. That's life in Kansas. Dorothy didn't just blow away on nothing. It wasn't a cool breeze, you know? Bad thing about winter in Kansas is it doesn't really get super, super cold, like negatives too often. I mean, sometimes, but not too often. But once that wind starts blowing, it might as well be in the negatives because that wind chill kicks your butt. I'm gonna uh, say Menzies. Menzies? Menzies. The easy one. The easy one, okay. Yeah. It's Scone Palace. Scone Palace. Yep. Want to be pronounced totally different. Granny, she makes scones a lot. Oh, okay. A couple years ago, Christina and Brittany were out here uh, running or walking or something and they came across a copperhead right about this spot. Oh, look at that view. So there are wildlife viewing options here on this trail. It's one of the outer city parks. Hey, this is where you and Lisa first started playing soccer. My first and last year. Fockabers? Fockabers. Okay. Doesn't sound anything like it should. <laughs> it probably doesn't, but oh well. I think James and I have resided to the fact that we're just going to do a one mile. We were going to do two, but that wind is picking up and it's beating us up pretty bad. So once we get back to the start of the trail, we're going to. Yeah. Wind chill is kicking our butts. Fortunately, we only have one more word on the list. Yeah, we'll do that one where? In the truck? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and knock that one out in the truck. But uh, it's still fun to get out here. I think both of us made the big mistake of not packing gloves. <laughs> okay, well. Thanks to some brilliant frozen finger camera work by yours truly, we didn't get James's last uh, word reading recorded. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to get that last word in right now from the warmth of our kitchen. So, the last word we got here is Findocti, I think it is. It's uh, about the closest I can get to what it says. Well, that's it for the Scottish words pronunciation challenge. Thanks, Desmond, for putting this uh, this competition together. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I think James and I had a great time with it. Everybody out there, if you liked the video, go ahead and drop a like. If you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. It's free. And uh, leave us a comment. We always, we always appreciate your comments. And uh, before we go, let's treat you with uh, one final shot from the trail that uh, James and I really thought made it worth going out in the cold to enjoy. Until then, we'll catch you on the next one. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. That makes this worth it. Oh my goodness. Pete craps on us, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs>